All right, guys, so welcome back to another video. So I've been uh, practicing a lot with my irons and um, improving on my speed lately. So I've been improving on my swing speed, especially with my driver and, you know, I gained like four miles an hour extra and then consequently with my irons as well. But what I noticed is that with my irons lately, I'm tending to like hit these massive drops. Normally I hit fades. So uh, so I kind of been um, looking into it and doing a little research. What I found out is that uh, basically, um, if you increase your swing speed, um, your the shafts you're playing with, uh, they may no longer be uh, good for you. So if you increase your swing speed on a lighter shaft, then you're gonna tend to hook more the ball. Now, if you have a stiff shaft and if you don't uh, increase your speed, then you're going to tend to kind of push the ball or slice. So these are some of the things that I've been um, noticing. Obviously, if your swing stays the same and you fit it for some shaft, then you're always going to hit those shots. Or, you know, you're fitted for that shaft. But if you change your swing, uh, like in my case, I increase my swing speed. Now, uh, my shots tend to um, to go more to the miss more to the left rather than the right. One more thing that is important too is the offset because you gotta check your offsets. Like this is a seven iron, uh, well, some of the uh, MC tool prefer. This is a really good player's irons. I have them, uh, but I don't play with them. And this right here on the seven iron, the offset is 1.8. While on my um, M2s, it's 2.8. So you're talking about one degree offset, which means I don't have a video on it. So check it out in detail. I explain what, what it is, but basically it sets the club back, you know, so the more offset the more your club is going to be back and the more back the more you're gonna you're gonna close the face so it's just gonna happen uh, a lot of game improvement clubs on the tailor-made for instance the offset is 4.2 compared to here it is 1.8 so that's like three degrees more so and the reason they do it is because a lot of uh, beginner golfers or high handicappers they tend to slice so what they're doing is basically uh encouraging the the swing their swings to close so, you know, they, they're gonna hit more draws and get rid of those, uh, those uh, slices. But, you know, if you already have your swing tuned in and you play with those game improvement clubs, you, you're gonna hook the ball. Hey, this is what I'm gaming right now. M2 um, Tour uh, clubs, seven iron. This is, uh, the loft on this is 30 degrees. The shaft is regular, but it's 95. And so I wanna try going from this to this right here this is a stiff shaft and this is a uh, kbs 110 a gram so an extra 15 grams on this one and the offset on this one is less than that one so i want to see if my hooks my tendencies to to pull the ball will get rid of it by having a stiffer shaft and by uh, having less offset so i'm gonna set up the simulator and then hit some shots and uh, I'll, let, I'll let you see Okay, so here I'm just trying to hit my standard irons, the M2s. Uh, I normally try to, I know that I that I can hook it easily, so I try to release a little more on my swing. So that's why you see me doing that, just trying to get better release. Uh, but unfortunately, as I, the more I try, the more speed I try to add, the more uh, chances for me to hook it. So what I wanted to see is um, if by changing the shaft, um, this would change. As you can see here, I tried to put a little more speed. It already starts to, to go left. O obviously, it's due to my swing as well, but for some reason, it feels like um, uh, I'm kind of like scared to add more speed to it because uh, I feel like I'm gonna hook it now. This particular shot was great. I don't know what happened there. Uh, it was a, a great shot there. So, but obviously, it can be bad at a course if you if you're aiming for 160 and you get 170, you will pass the green. So, anyways, um, what I was saying is that uh, the more speed I try to put to my swing, the more I I'm subject to to pulling it or uh, hooking it. So. That's my only problem with this uh, with these clubs right here. So as you can see there, I'm trying to just release the club so that will keep me from hooking it. Okay, so I hit um, some balls there with my standard iron and the way it feels 
is the, the more I try to add speed, the more like I'm a little scared to pull it to the right. And this is exactly how I feel at the course. Uh, or even at the driving range, the more I try to put speed on it, the more I tend to lose it to the left. So now I'm gonna try to hit the other uh, club, which is a stiff shaft. Uh, it's a little heavier in shaft. Uh, obviously the loft is different because it's like 33 loft and the one that I just hit is 30 loft. So it's almost like my, like my eight iron, but I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But anyways, I'm gonna see what my, the tendencies with this stiffer shaft is. So okay so here i'm trying the stiff shaft um seven iron and with these shafts obviously if you catch it well you get a, a very good shot uh, the only problem is that if you don't hit it well as you can see on this shot here um, you're going to stay very short of your actual um, target so i definitely didn't like that about i don't i don't know if that's the shaft or the the club face uh, with less offset but what i noticed with these clubs is that uh, my misses were the opposite were more to the right rather than the left so apart from these shots right here that i didn't catch it well it could be because you know i'm not used to it but overall if you look at even the accuracy percentage it starts to shift to the right instead of the the left as uh, you seen previously so uh, basically, I'm not sure if that's due to the shaft or the offset. So you can clearly see that with this club, I'm missing to the right rather than the left. So you get like opposite um, results. Now, on my last shot, I tried to pull more speed because I kind of felt like I could add more speed to it. And what happened is um, it felt like uh, it felt like a hook actually on the swing hook. I mean, if I would have hit the other. Uh, iron with this it would definitely be a hook and it wasn't so okay so i hit the mcs and first off these clubs are not very forgiving um but i wasn't looking for that i was looking for the shaft and i noticed that uh, on the last shot uh that was definitely a hook for if i would have hit that one with this one that was a hook that i felt it as a hook but on this one did not give me a hook it just gave me a, a slight pull so that will be the difference. I don't think they're still for me. This is maybe a little too heavy, 110 grams, uh, stiff shaft. Uh, it might be an old shaft as well, but um, what, just my point is that I think you have to look into the right type of club for you and the right type of shaft. The offset, I think, is what's um, killing me more than the actual shaft in my case, because I think the offset, uh, that's just, you notice that that's just one degree, 1.2 degrees between this club and this club. And that, that can uh, definitely have me pull the ball more. So if I could have this club right here, the same specs, but just change the um, the offset, a little left off offset, then that would be great. But I do understand that I think you can't just change one thing. You have to like, it works all uh, together. So. I don't think you can do that. Uh, the only thing that I want to add is that just be careful. A lot of times you think uh, it's your swing that you're pulling or you're hooking and you never look at the shaft that you're playing. So make sure to check that out and the offset as well. Uh, because a lot of times it could be more the equipment than you. You can just keep, you know, your swing is always changing. So um, you may need a different type of shaft, different, different type of uh, club head as well. Okay, so that was just a quick video. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, I feel like um, it's always better to get fitted for clubs or irons. And I feel like there is some something out there that will be that would best fit your, uh, your swing tendencies. And that's way better than having to adapt to to the club so like i always say i think that that's better for now i will just stick to my m2s right now and maybe i will look into something a little more uh, not like this one that is not very forgiving because if you notice the the ones that i miss hit i lost a lot of distance on it so definitely i don't want to do that uh on the other hand on this one right here when i hit it really really well it gave me too much distance and that can't be good either so i have to compromise somewhere in the, in between so anyways i hope you enjoyed the video guys uh, if you have any questions uh, leave a comment down below uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you can thanks for watching guys until next time